tell us about a little bit about yourself, maybe things you didn't say last week about your, your coming to Islam. Well, yes, when I first was uh, introduced to the subject of Islam, I was not interested in a new religion. In fact, I was very happy with what I had, and I was trying to convert a Muslim to become a Christian. Because you were a pastor. Well, I was a preacher. There's a difference. Okay, a preacher. Pastor is uh, as much, I think, more dignified than me. I was just a person out preaching the word, you know? Very and a musician. Very much a musician. And this is your life. Putting it all together, trying to call people to the Lord, etc. Along the way, and the man said something to me that struck me really hard. Because he realized that I was proselytizing from day one. Okay. Three months into it, we were working together. And he knows I'm trying to convert him. He could see in every discussion, every argument, that all I'm trying to do is do what? Just convert him. Well, he told me at one point, he said, you know, I'll go to your faith. I'll be a Christian if your religion's better than my religion. And I said, whoa, wait a minute. This, I've got him. I've got him where I want him. I got the fish on the hook. Because, as we're going to do, uh, cover in this program, there are a lot of things you have to do to be a Muslim. Oh, yeah. A lot. We'll talk about it. But one thing was, I said, well, from what I'd heard from him and seeing him five times a day doing his rituals, I said, you don't have to do that in Christianity. You don't have to fast an entire month. You don't have to give something called zakat to the poor. You don't have to. It's nice if you do. And you don't have to go halfway around the world to go to a box in the desert and do all these rituals. You don't have to do that. And uh, you don't even have to be nice. It's better if you do, but you just want to be a Christian. It's pretty simple. Yeah. You know, really, yeah. it's what you yeah. say. Yeah. But then he finished the sentence. He said, I'll go to your faith if it's better than my faith, but you'll need proof. And I said, man, religion has never been about no. proof. It's about faith. That's it. That's what religion is. He said, in Islam, we have both. We have proof and faith. And listen to this. I said, you mean to sit there and tell me as a Muslim that you can prove there really is a God? And he said, do you mean to sit there and tell me as a preacher of Christianity that yeah. you can't? And what about when Allah tells us about the Bahrain, two seas, where the two seas come together, same surah, same chapter. He tells us about that. But they don't mix. They can't mix. And when Jacques Cousteau, the eminent scientist from France, discovered this amazing, amazing situation where the Mediterranean feeds off into the Atlantic Ocean, these two big seas coming together, but they have two different salinities, different amounts of salt, two different temperatures, two different densities, two different life forms, not the same. And when they come together, that one stays inside of the other, but they don't mix. And when he got ready to talk about that, he had a Muslim on the boat with him and he said, we already know that, that's in the Quran 1400 years ago. Oop. Yeah, we won't make that then in then. Then when this book talks about when the river of sweet water pours into the salinity of the salt water and they don't mix. And you go to the Mississippi River and you find the same thing that it says right here. And it talks to us in here about the stars. It talks about the moon and the sun and the earth and everything that Allah created and describes them in detail and tells us that the earth is doing what? How we turning. Turning, the same thing like when you'd make a turban, Kawi. Turning, the earth is turning. And nobody believed that back then because you don't feel the earth turning, do you? So we assumed that the earth was the center of the universe and that the sun was going around us, what we thought. But it mentions that even the sun is in orbit. The earth is in orbit. How could the sun be in an orbit? But guess what we found out? It's in an orbit. The sun has an orbit. It's not being still. And the moon is going, uh, the earth is going around the sun the same way the moon is going around the earth. All of it's moving, swimming. And Allah uses this, swimming, swimming. Who is telling us this? The Rabbil Alameen, the Lord of the worlds. 